Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we got two days left in the uh, season here. Now, we need to get some cash, and tomorrow is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, which means the beach is going to be closed. So, if we're going to go fishing, today's the day that we're going to want to do it. So, that's what's on tap for this first day of the episode. There you see, they're talking about that. Actually, I'll go back and read that because I want to make sure I have it right. Uh, it's a good luck day, and then, yeah, it starts between 10 and midnight. So, anytime after 10 and before midnight, you're golden. So, we got one last decent harvest here for the spring or for the summer it looks like uh, we got some peppers looks like we got another batch of radishes not that any of that is super valuable but anyway that's that let's just drop in here real quick and I'm gonna just hit that for now I don't need those extra radishes. I'm going to keep a couple of extra peppers, because why not? Corn, we already have 15. I kind of feel like I should have some stuff smelting. <coughs> and gold is the thing that I probably should focus on. So let's throw a bunch of it in there and let that just go to town. Oh, uh, what about batteries? Keep them all for now. I didn't leave any in here, did I? I don't think so. I gotta remember that I have that prismatic shard. I don't think I'll forget, but... Oh, I need a hoe to grab that, uh... What you who's it? Artifact spot? But Clint has my hoe. Which should be ready today, shouldn't it? I think I actually need that uh, purple mushroom. Yeah, for sure. Still need a bunch of those. Dang. Uh, we'll hit the uh, chickens first. And ducks. Don't forget about the duck. Uh, let's grab... There was something that I wanted to do with hay at some point, and I think it was basically just, like, grab all of it. Yeah. Because now... It's freeze time. What that means is that... I can now go and scythe a bunch of hay... Uh, let's put this in there for now. Now I have a bunch of extra hay in there. My silo is empty, but I'll be able to refill it later. Should I be... What eggs am I saving? Just regular white eggs? Um, I think we're ultimately going to need to save the gold... So, let's just do that. It's going to be harder and harder to get regular quality eggs as our uh, little buddies start to like us more. So, that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Alright, we can go ahead and grab that stuff, I suppose. And there's not going to be any goat milk today. Yeah. I just need to remember that when I get goat cheese, I won't be getting goat milk. You know what I'm saying? All right. I th I'm pretty sure I don't need any more milk. Uh, now I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. You go back in there, and I think we're ready to go. Right? Yep. Alright, now. Oh my gosh, mouse. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. 
basically, it's just acting so kind of funny. Um, but anyway, it's not the end of the world. I can probably go ahead and get like all of this grass up here, but I'll leave a little bit of it so that it regrows if I need to do this again. We'll kind of try and leave the grass in front of the coop and barn so that our guys eat it. It'd be nice if I had a oak tree full grown over here in my other tree farm. I really want to get my oak resin. I know that I still have time frozen. It's because I don't want this to take up time when it's this is actually something I could have done tomorrow. Um, but it's no big deal. Still no full grown oak trees and not even close. Like I think that's a maple right there. So it's going to be a while, but not a big deal. So we'll get this finished, and then we'll head. That's probably good. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> oh, come here, sea biscuit. Let the cows out so they can go ahead and eat as well. And then, boom, 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 that's uh you know not bad there okay let's um, what do we want to do next I don't think there's really anything else I need to get done today other than fishing I need to stop at Clint's and get my hoe right is that it? Probably should have checked the trash, but it's not a big deal. I will grab these guys. I need more bait, y'all. Nope. Um... Somebody's saying, like, if you're at the right spot on your horse, you can get ice cream anytime, but I'm not seeing it there. Oh, rats. No. Oh my gosh, mouse. Wasn't there something that I needed to take to the museum? Oh, you know what it was? It was that, uh ancient seed the other day, which we already did. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Clint. Tell me my hoe is ready. Are you kidding, dude? So I just wasted like a half hour. It's okay, though. Kind of makes up for freezing time. To, um... Whoa, what's going on, Willie? Oh, it's a good thing you turned up, lad. Oh, I've got a bit of a problem I could use a hand with. Okay, deep breath. <laughs> so he's going to show me what's going on here. Why would I need to take a deep breath? <laughs> this is a funny one. He's got a crab. Pro he's got, Willie's got crabs. Yep. Yeah, as you can see and smell, uh, the old girls were in wild last night. <laughs> My experience needs a little work. I just completely screwed up Willie's voice. And then Gus walks in like, ooh -hoo, back at it again, huh, Willie? Oi. They look fresh, all right. Oi, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you'll ever set your eyes on. They be a little feisty, though. All right, yep, yep, yep. I have an idea. Gus is gonna take the whole lot and 
What this means is that for the next few days, crab cakes are on sale at Gus's. I don't think we're going to take advantage of that, though. Um, good boy, my sweet ladies. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be doing a special on crab cakes. He's like, don't tell Willie. Like, Willie, what did you think, Gus? Or, uh, yeah, what did you think he was going to do with all those? Come on, get in there. All right. One thing I want to do here is check for foraging, because tomorrow I won't be able to get any. So this is the last day to get beach foraging before fall. Uh, hang on a second. Wanted to see my uh, my robot vacuum screwed up earlier, so I had to restart her, and I just wanted to make sure she was still going. And she is. All right, so let's grab. Oh, where is Willie? Dang it! I need bait, y'all. Oh well. Hopefully we don't run out. Fifty-two should be plenty. But we definitely need more soon. Let's put all this stuff down here to make room for the fish that we kind of want to see up top. Man, that means I'm not going to be able to get my hoe until the morning of the first day of fall. I thought it would be done today. I wasn't thinking, well, I probably realized that it would be done Sunday, not thinking about it being the holiday. And not being able to pick it up. Although I might be able to pick it up even though it is a holiday. I'm not sure. The Moonlight Jelly Festival is a little bit different because it's at night. But I think businesses around town are still closed. It's not the end of the world. Basically what that means is on Fall 1, I'll get up, do my normal chores, go to Pierre's and get my crops... And then just pop into Will, or, uh, Clint's and grab the hoe to go back then and plant everything. Not the end of the world. You know? So. So ideally, we come up with like another 20 grand today. Oh my gosh, dogs. Calm it down. Um... So, we need to catch another octopus soon if we're going to have any chance to do it. Because it's pushing 1 o'clock, and I think that's the end of that window. So then, we'll be rooting for puffer fish. And then, there, well, there's a puffer fish. I'm okay with that. And then, once it's nighttime, super cucumbers. Those are the, the big three. Money makers. Dollar, 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 bills, y'all. Man, if those bubbles were a little farther out, it would have been awesome. But, not going to be able to take advantage of them, because I want the highest quality fish in all the land. Or ocean, I guess, however you want to say it. <clears throat> I'm super tired, y'all. I'm taking a nap after this have to go to a party tonight. It's a friend's birthday. Um, and she's having a Barbie birthday party. So I've got to dress like... Everybody's got to dress like Ken or Barbie. So that's going to be super fun. <laughs> Twelve coal. Heck yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot of coal. If I were to go to the mines getting gold, I'd be, you know, okay coming out of there with 12 gold, or 12 coal, I mean. So, to get that in one cast fishing, pretty nice. So, that'd be awesome. More magma geodes. I need to take a look at the museum and start trying to do the countdown as to how many more items we actually need 
We've put a pretty good dent in it, but I bet you there's still like 15 or 20 things that we're still chasing. But halfway through the first year, that's actually not that bad, so. Oh, I think I'm going to have to sneeze. Ah, there we go. And a puffer fish. So we got one octopus, three puffers so far. And the rest of those are about equal value. Although I should kind of take a look at which ones actually are better. Man, we're down to 31 bait. I don't know if we're going to make it to the end of this day. We need some treasures with bait in it. <laughs> Would you look at that? How about 15 bait? That was awesome. It might not have mattered, but now I feel really good about our situation. Like, I'm not even remotely worried about running out today. Tomorrow, if we tried to fish again, yeah, maybe. But, um, yeah. So... We talked about kind of our next couple of big expenditures, with the first being, ooh, Neptune's Glaive and a Diamond. That's the sword we wanted earlier in the game, but didn't get. At least not by the time I really wanted it, but anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the money we're going to spend. Crops are the big one. Not sure how much that'll they'll, they'll cost, though. Um, I don't plan on expanding our fields. So, we're already going to have corn. And... Is there anything else that carries over? Hops, I think, carry over. If I'm not mistaken. Which I might be. But I... Feel like they carry over. I don't know why, because now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But, anyway... Crops, and then the vault in the community center. That's going to be a big one to help us make big-time progress on making our farm super awesome. Because it unlocks access to where we will get all of our iridium. And iridium, you know, lets us craft more... Uh, or better sprinklers, better tools, all kinds of stuff. Crystallariums and whatnot. So we want a bunch of uh, iridium, like lots of it. Loads and loads. Let's put this up here. Because that's the one that I really want. Come on. Give me some more super cucumbers here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that to me now. <sighs> I don't know why that is happening. It doesn't seem to happen in any other you know, thing. Like, right there. It did it again. What is going on? Um, but, like, when I play other games and such, I don't seem to have an issue with that. Or, like, when I'm working. It's only when I'm fishing. And it's only when I, you know, I, oh my gosh. It's only when I'm trying to reel in the fish, or hook the fish. It doesn't give me that issue when I, like, click and hold... It immediately kicks open the thing to cast, and like we have no problems there. I just don't get it, guys. Halibut. Come on, give me some super cukes. We'll fish until about 11, probably, and then head on back, I think. Somewhere in that neighborhood. 
try to end on a good cast somewhere around 11 o'clock. Not that it's a huge rush to get out of here, but that's just what we're shooting for. Because I'm kind of getting tired of fishing, to be honest. I've done a lot of it in these last few episodes. Whoops. It's a wasted cast. Alright. Robot Vac is done mopping in the kitchen, and now it's moving on to the living room. I'm telling you guys, if you have dogs or cats even, and especially if you have dogs that are outdoor a fair amount, you've got to get a robot vacuum. If you have hardwoods. like We have hardwoods pretty much throughout the house. Um, and we were having to sweep every single day, mop several times a week, and it's just so much time and effort that you put in just to try and keep the floors from, like, it's not to keep, to make them look clean, it's to keep them from looking dirty. Like, there's a difference. So, we've invested in a pretty expensive robot vacuum, and it's changed our lives. <laughs> It's just so much time you get back in your day. You spend, you know, maybe five, ten minutes dealing with it a week instead of, like, five hours. So, it's pretty awesome. Where's my horse? Up here because of, um... Ooh, let's freeze time so we can get into Willy or to the saloon before it closes. Oh my gosh, let me pass, Leah. Let me pass! I already talked to Clint. Alright, so we're giving her a gift there. How many hearts are we up to with her? Haley is at seven. We got a long way to go with Emily. We're at four. But that might get us to another cutscene if that took us from three to four. So we'll see. I think we've only had one Emily cutscene so far. All right. What are we selling here? Uh, all of the fish. All of the seaweed. Pretty sure we're going to sell the diamonds. No, we're not. We're going to keep those diamonds. We're going to keep the coal. That goes there. Boom, 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 boom. And what about coral? That's good there. And then last thing we're going to do is put that up there to sell it at some point. And then, there we go. On freeze time, actually, let's go close the uh, barn and coop. Okay. That was a pretty good day. Tomorrow is the last day of summer, so I'll need to remember to harvest the fruit trees, even though there's only two. Hey, look at the moon. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> All right. So 16,000. Not great, but not terrible. So tuna, red mullet are the least, tilapia, but I mean still, 225. I was thinking octopus were worth more than that. That's really not that much. Super cucumbers are a big time money maker and then puffers, but oh well. Like I said, 16 grand, that's a pretty good day. That puts us up around 50k in our bank account, which is plenty to start the fall with. All right, so we got to be down to the beach by or at 10 o'clock basically. So, Queen of Sauce. Bread. We learned how to make bread. 
It's really not that complicated. I'm not sure why we needed to learn it, but whatever. All right, 10 o'clock. Demetrius wants us to be down there because he says it's super awesome and super duper rare to see, you know, certain species or whatevs. So, okay, Demetrius. We'll see you there, bud. Keep your pants on. All right. Do we need to save any of that other than the hops? We'll keep the extra tomatoes. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Um, so what are we going to do today? We need to kill a bunch of time. Uh, it is traveling cart day, so we'll definitely want to do that. And what else are we going to want to do? Nope, get, go in there. All right, so we got another duck egg. And there's, okay, everything's in there. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. The duck egg didn't go in yet because they were already full, which is fine. They'll get to it whenever that mayo is done. All right, we will get goat milk today. We don't need to save anything other than like a large gold goat milk now is kind of the next one that we're looking to save. And since there was none there, everything goes in there and we're gonna have a whole bunch of awesome cheese products tomorrow. See how much the grass like grew back in just because we left a bunch there? Like I don't think I left nearly this much grass yesterday. And it might do a bunch because it was Sunday. Maybe like that's the day that grass like repopulates. I'm not sure, honestly. I've never actually paid much attention to that. But this seems like a serious grass explosion, y'all. Still no progress on my freaking trees over there. Which is starting to get annoying. Are we full in our silo? It appears that we are, because I'm not getting any more hay. Which is okay. All right, let's just go like this. Uh, farm, sell, 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 sell. And let's go. So it's traveling cart. It's secret woods. It's chop some tree. Z hey! Heck yeah, we're buying that. The red cabbage. And we can now officially finish the community center in the first freaking year. Uh, let's, let's go, go to our shed. That goes into the fall chest. This goes into the summer chest for now. And eventually it will be going to the community center. <sighs> so the traveling cart lady came through for a change. Death, death. And there it goes again. I just can't use the scroll wheel in its current state. I've got to get used to hitting the buttons with my finger. Which I can really only do for like the one, two, or three slot. Anything other than that, I kind of have to like stop and look. Nope. I was going to say, swing that way. <laughs> Alright, 
<clears throat> so I th think what we'll do after we finish this is just sweep the forest looking for trees to cut down um, we'll head in and see Clint just in case businesses are open today but I don't think they are I think any festival day like this they're closed except for the winter festival the winter market um, those are just normal days. And, guys, what are we doing here? Not only are they normal days, the market event doesn't stop the clock. So, that's unique in that regard as well. Alright. There might be a couple more to grab around here there's one right there so we'll get a fair amount of wood out of this effort today which is you know not the most productive thing but really the last day of the season there's not usually a ton to do anyway and throw in there the fact that it's also a festival day you might as well just do something like this know what I'm saying hey why are you going to sleep on me? I want to watch your progress. All right, she's almost done. <clears throat> but yeah, this, this robot vacuum we got is a UFI. E-U-F-Y is the brand. They make like, you know, smart doorbells and stuff like that uh, security systems and whatnot uh, but their robot vacuums are pretty freaking sweet they're relatively affordable um, and you can get these ones like I've got that's a hybrid vacuum slash mop you can set schedules tell it which rooms to do which you know which rooms to avoid you, know, like you can block off areas of the house using your phone um, and a map that it draws out kind of thing so you don't have to like block them off using you know little gadgets that you have to sit around the house which is annoying like I don't want to have to have this little thing sitting on the ground hey what's going on Alex that's a good boy Dusty uh you might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen this kind of stuff. I, this kind of stuff you and I have. Uh, and he's sad. And I was hiding in the bushes, and I come out like, "Hey!" And he's like, <gasps> "Evan, did you ever hear me talking?" Uh, yeah, I heard everything. Not really. Why? We're gonna go with not really. Oh, I was talking to Dusty. He and I have a lot in common, actually. Uh. Like, what do you mean you have a lot in common? I don't usually like to talk about it, but it, we've been friends for a while now, and I think I can trust you. Okay. What you got, dude? Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? My father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless. I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young. Bitter because he wasted his youth doing nothing and got nowhere in life. Well... That's my take on it anyway. Who knows what's going on in his mind? I don't know. So he left. Mom got sick and passed away. So he had to move in with his grandparents. That's a tough childhood there, Alex. If Dusty was there through you all, I can understand why you've got a bond with him, you know? You have to look on the positive side of things. My childhood wasn't great, but it made it did make me strong. It had to be. Cool. All right. This is what old Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> Look at him slobbering. <laughs> this is like the only time in the game where you actually see Dusty. Oh, we're not done yet. Another cutscene. This one's kind of cool. Yeah, this is the one 
that we get for four hearts. Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. And then, wait for it, here come birds just popping out of this tree right here. And they're like, wah, wah. and she's like, hey birds, how you doing? My friends. <laughs> and then, wait for it, she's like, huh? Here comes another one and smacks into her window. Oh, you poor thing! So she picks her up and is like, Your wing's broken! And rocks it. Oh, we're gonna take good care of you, little buddy. You're different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. Oh, if you mean different in that it smacked into the window and the other ones didn't, then yeah, it's different. Alright, so she's gonna nurse it back to health. Cool, 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 cool. Emily's got a pet parrot. Bandaged the wing. He's all set up in a room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. I'll give the bird a name. I'm going to call the bird Tito. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it Tito, but that's just what we're going to call it. So, hey, say how to. Hey there, mister. What's up, dude? All right. Haley coming back from the beach. So she's allowed at the beach, but nobody else. Or at least not me. See, we only ended up with... We had 19 bait when that was all said and done. And remember, we caught 15 in that one cast. So we would have been cutting it really close had it not been for that. Uh, I could get ice cream, but I don't really think we need to. Okay, I hear my mop talking. It's done, so need to go take the mop pad off of it so it can empty the dust, but then she's done for the day. All right, so we have our gold hoe. We have all of the tools upgraded to gold uh, prior to fall. So that is pretty sweet. Let's actually have him bust open these geodes, too. Dink. Coal, nice. Do we need that? No. Nope. I know we don't need that. We don't really need that either. So we're gonna go mining and go like that. We're gonna go to the minerals one and put that in there because that's the first of those that we've got. Foraging. We're gonna put some of that stuff in there, but I'm going to keep the wood out so I know how much I've collected today. Uh, summer, boom, 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 and then ocean foraging. We can keep all of those. Alright. Let's get back to it here. Uh, where else do we need to go looking for trees? I guess north... Oh, we got another garbage pail hat. Don't we already have one of those? Uh, could have sworn I already got one of those. I don't see it there. Oh, there it is right there. Does it stack? No. So it's going to go in the trash. pretty rare to get one of those, let alone two of them. Definitely want to say hi to uh, Caroline. She won't let me pass. Even on horseback, I can't squeeze by her. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and drop off the red cabbage because I think it actually completes one of the bundles. It does. The dye bundle. What do we get for that? Seed maker. Nice. That one we can't get yet. Those I can't get yet. Apples. I can't get yet. Close on those. But anyway. Um, man, it's going to be at least winter before I can finish that one now that I think about it. Because that winter nautilus... Or that Nautilus shell or whatever it's called. 
is one that you can only find, I think, through beach foraging during the winter. I don't think there's any other way to get that thing. So that's kind of a bummer. Come on, no trees up here for me to cut down? Dang, guys. I'll take these grapes. I already have one of those. Uh, let's go into the mine uh, chest. Sell that bad boy. We're not going to make a lot of money today. So, bottom line, going into the fall, we aren't going to have quite enough to do the vault and all the crops. But it won't be long before we can do that vault. So, <clears throat> probably within a few days, because I can just go fishing. Uh, I will be going fishing. Now, a lot of the fish that we catch early on are going to be ones, well, some of them are going to be ones that we're going to want to save. So, there is, you know, some element of, you know, having to save those instead of uh, sell them. So, we won't be making as much fishing as we normally would. Let's go ahead and cut down these trees. So we're cutting down a hardwood there. I'll need to plant another. But not the end of the world. Just don't let me forget that one up there was a hardwood. I don't think I will forget, but don't let me. So having this tree farm kind of like, you know, always be, you know, like if I have these days where I just cut down some of them, like the ones that are ready, instead of waiting for them all to be ready, I feel like this is much more productive of a, you know, scenario than usually I would just wait until they're all done and then cut them down. I think this is better because it kind of keeps you always you know, pretty flush with wood instead of like waiting until you're really low on wood and then getting a whole bunch. Just get a little bunch. You know what I'm saying? This is going to work out really well. We're low on energy right as we finish our work for the day. Now, I need... From the shed, I need one mahogany seed. Let's go put that right there. Oh my gosh. Scroll wheel, stop! It's the worst, y'all. I just don't know what is causing that. Because sometimes it's like scrolling back in the direction that I was coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like I scroll down and it ends up like it goes down, but then it goes back the other direction a couple spots. It's like, what? Is that it? I think that's everything. All right. Pretty good timing because we're basically needing to head to the uh what you who's it all right i'm gonna keep that seed maker out and we're gonna put it out in the morning so yeah let's go like that we got 700 wood y'all that is pretty awesome mining gets that summer gets those and did we ever do the summer? Yeah, it looks like we did. I might need 
yeah, one more of these prehistoric tools. And let's go. Good job, team. Oh my gosh. We're actually not done yet for the day because we're going to cut down that tree right there. We're going to grab those and we're going to go like that. And before we actually head down to the beach, I will go ahead and put that stuff away. So summer, boom, 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 foraging, boom. Yep. The uh, seed maker it's probably close to the time where I can start putting it to use. So, um, I need to be thinking about where I want to put it. I can't just put it on the line where I have my preserves jar and, um, what else do I have there? Uh, furnaces because it would pull blueberries that I'm using for preserves and make blueberry seeds, and I don't want it to do that. So we just come down here and say hi to everyone. Everybody, I love that line right there. Paying my respects to another bygone summer. Um, anyway, we're just down here saying hi to everyone, including the wizard. And he's like, oh, how did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. No, I just have a pretty good memory and know that you like to stand over there on this festival day. So. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Oh, heavens, there's another summer behind us. Oh, dear. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything I'm going to buy from Pierre here. But we'll at least check it out. Decals, seafoam pudding, nah. No thanks. Moonlight jellies, I wonder how they taste. I don't know. Probably fishy. And chewy, would be my guess. Oh, I'll bet Haley forgot her camera. Oh, I should have brought my camera, I forgot. You forget every year. I just, I don't get it. Marnie is afraid to go out on the pier because there's too many people out there. She thinks it's going to fall over. <laughs> is this the one where Clint's wearing his special shoes? Hey, we're my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. <laughs> no, they didn't, Clint. I mean, how often do you notice a man's shoes? Who knows what movie that's from. Uh, what do you think? Should I uh, launch the boat now? Yep, let's launch it. Uh, if you do know the answer to what movie that's from, great. If not, I'm going to tell you. It is uh, Shawshank Redemption. So there you go. <clears throat> so he cuts the boat loose, and I'm standing here, and everybody's all just like, hanging out watching for jellyfish and here they come they're called moonlight jellies because the moon hits them and they kind of look like the moon under the, the ocean surface these are real creatures y'all really exist and we're looking for a rare green jellyfish I don't know, like somebody told me to look for it I don't I don't know what the deal is but we'll just keep an eye out just in case uh, look at the little babies over here. And the little babies over here are so cute. Oh my god. Oh look, there comes the rare green jelly. It's different looking. What's up with that guy? He's hanging out with all his moonlight jelly buds, but he's not a moonlight jelly. Look, he's going to swim right up to me. What are the odds of that? The first several playthroughs I did, I never even noticed that thing. And 
now that I look back, it's like, how did I not notice that thing swimming up to me every single time? And then the first time it did, I was like, oh my gosh, there it is. It's so rare. And I was being authentic about it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, so the festival's over. Time to head home. They just drop us right there on the porch. Uh, let's freeze time just for a second and then think about... Yeah, our seed maker, I think what I'm going to do... Oh my gosh. Stop with the mouse scrolling. Oh. There. Got it. We're going to put it right there. Do I already have any more chests crafted? I do not. So... Let's grab some wood, craft a chest, boom. Wood, you can go back in there. Chest, you can go right there. And then we're going to put all of these in there. Wait, wait, wait. Not that one. Whew. I'm saving that one for the festival i could use the star fruit as my fruit and probably still get a really good score but i think ancient fruit would get a higher score i might even just do both of them actually but we'll see but anyway that's going to pump out some seeds hopefully how many i put in there like seven so ideally we would come away with like a total of about 15 thereabouts but I don't really know what to expect. Did I close the barn and coop? Looks like I did. All right, heading to bed. And that is the first summer in the books. Get another three grand or so to add to our total. And that'll start us with about 53,000 day one of the fall. Um, no, weren't we higher than that? Whatever. We're right around 50, which is fine. So we still have corn, but that's it. All of those other ones held their form, so the tilling and everything and preparation shouldn't be too bad here for the first day of fall. Hey, look, we have uh, some pine tar for the first time. Um, so we'll have that going on. That tree is starting to grow. None of the others even remotely close though what's going on with that but anyway um that is going to do i need to get rid of that weed right there so that's going to do it for uh this one if you haven't done so already please be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and we will see y'all next time